Hi, I'm Anthropis. Today I'm gonna make a breakdown on the drum rhythm in the song Don't Wanna Lose You Now by Backstreet Boys from 1999. So first I'm gonna show you the whole drum rhythm. So I'm going to show you how the kick drum sounds like. And the sound came from the Korg Trident synthesizer. Actually, I'm using a plugin here. So it's from the BD and SD kit one, and it is the C1 key. So now I will show you how this kick drum sounds in the drum rhythm. Now it's time to show the next sound, the snare drum sound. And it sounds like this. And it is also from the Korg Trident synthesizer and the same drum kit as I show you on the kick drum. The BD and SD kit one. And I will play the B5 key. Now I will show you the snare drum sound together with the kick drum. Now I'm going to show you a closed hi-hat and an open hi-hat. And the sounds sound like this. This is the closed hi-hat. And this is the open hi-hat. So I will see that it is this bright sound selected in the plugin here. And here I'm using the standard kit, internal A036 on those two sounds. And you see here the open hi-hat is muted by the closed hi-hat. When playing the closed hi-hat directly after and this function is something we like to have. So therefore I'm using both those two hi-hat sounds in the same track. Now I'm going to show the hi-hat sounds in the drum rhythm. Now it's time to show the next drum sound and it is a triangle sound and it sounds like this and it came from the same drum kit as the hi-hat sounds, the standard kit on the Korg Trident and it is the A5 key. So now I'm going to show you how the triangle sound sounds in the drum rhythm. Now I will show you the next sound, the tambourine sound, and the sound sounds like this. It actually two sounds on the same track. The low tambourine sound, actually low velocity, we get one sound. And when pressing hard on a key with high velocity, we get also another sound. And uh, I used both of those sounds in this track. And it is the F sharp 3 key. Here we have some effects on. So 
see here when I pressing the notes different hard I get two sounds so I can show you here which the velocities are I'm using 100 for the high velocity and 99 for the low velocity now I will show you the tambourine in the drum rhythm show you all the velocities and it is the same for all the parts now I will show you the next sound, a cabeza sound, and it sounds like this, and the sound is on the standard kit on the Korg Trident, on the note A4. So now I will show you the cabeza sound in the drum rhythm. And we have also a little bit change in velocity. And now the last sound. It is a finger snap from the EMU percussion drum module. And it sounds like this. And now I'm gonna dial in that sound on the actual module. So this sound I will turn in uh, the number two sound in the factory presets and then press the edit button. And I will choose the data knob clockwise. From the beginning I will turn the data knob clockwise one time to select the sound and um, in this case I will press the key C2 because I have record the sound with that key so now we see when I press C2 you see it is assigned to different sounds so here I'm gonna change the sound to the S001 and that is a programmable sound that are actually empty so it is for custom sound. I will now press the key and you hear nothing so now I'm gonna change the waveforms that are assigned to this. And I will turn the data knob clockwise until I get to the menu for stack instrument. And here it is important that it is on the L1, the layer 1. And it actually four layers on each sound. So you can have four different sounds assigned to a sound. So here I'm going to show the waveform. I-066 so here we have it but it should be a little bit modified also first I'm gonna change I I have seen that is a course on this a tuning so it should be zero here and then I'm going to change some other parameters on the stack level. For example, 
the volume you can turn on to the highest volume and check the pen so that is what you like and uh, then you have an alternate envelope so here I'm gonna change it to on and uh, I going to change the D to 3 like this so here we have it so now I'm gonna show you the finger snap sound in the drum rhythm And now I'm going to show you the whole drum rhythm four times. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.